Hi, I'm Chuck McGrath. I'm an independent CPA in Phoenix, Arizona. Let me show you how we use the Lacert Likekind Exchange Wizard to record a very complicated transaction on the taxpayer's return. It used to take us hours to gather the information and put it in the right places on the tax return. Now with the wizard, it only takes a matter of minutes and Lacert puts all the information in the right place on the right form. Let me show you how it works. The first thing is the Lacert allows us to get into the wizard in two different ways. You can either use screen 17, the disposition screen, or screen 22, the depreciation screen. I prefer screen 22. When we get there, we highlight the asset that starts the transaction, the asset that we're disposing of. Then we go down to the lower left-hand corner and click on the like kind exchange button there. This brings up the wizard. We click on the wizard. And the first screen that shows up is a brief description of what the wizard's going to do. We click Next, and we start entering the actual information. We need to enter the date that we disposed of our old assets. And we need to bring into the right screen all of the assets we're giving up that the Lacerda has been accumulating the information over time for. We next enter the, the description of the new assets that we're acquiring in this process. The day we identified those assets, the day we actually closed on purchasing those assets. We need to enter the fair market value of the assets that we're acquiring. If there's any other non-real estate, non-depreciable assets that we're, we're receiving, we enter that information in this screen also. The next screen allows us to enter the down payment that we paid or gave up as part of this transaction if we received a down payment as a part of the transaction, we enter that in the screen. We need to record the mortgages that the client may have on that property and then the, the mortgage for the old property that we gave up as part of the transaction. The last information in this screen is the total cost of the transactions, both the buying and the selling side. Enter that in the expensive sales line. Finally, if we gave up any non-depreciable assets, not anything that was not in the Lacert depreciation records, enter that information in this next screen. We can report this information in two different ways, either as a single line on the new depreciation records or as multiple lines. I prefer the simplified method, so we've clicked that. Now we start reviewing the information that Lacert has accumulated for us the tremendous savings right here in that Lacert has already pulled in this information. Otherwise, we would have to recalculate this ourselves. This is a tremendous time saving to have Lacert do the work for us. So it pulls in the description, the current net book value, when we acquired that asset, and then when we exchanged or sold it. The next screen accumulates all the information on the new assets, on the description, the day we identified it, the day we closed on that transaction, the fair market value, and then all the information on the down payment, mortgages, and any other important information. Once we've looked at that information, the CERT now goes into the process of actually creating that asset within the depreciation records. So we'll click Yes. Now let's go in and actually look at the forms that Lacert has created for us. So we click on the Forms tab go to the 8824. In the past, we used to have to accumulate this information manually and type it into the form. It took a tremendous amount of time. Now with this wizard, this very complicated transaction can be recorded properly within the tax return in a matter of minutes instead of hours. Uh, so you've got the dates on page one, you've got the dollar values on page two. If you want to double check how the calculations are prepared, Lacert gives us an excellent worksheet that we can go and review as well. So we click on the worksheet, and we see that this taxpayer has a very complicated tax return, and so we're going to go to the worksheet that actually applies to this transaction. Once again, we can see the basis of the property given up, all of the depreciation records, the mortgages, the uh, cash value that we gave up, and can double check that Lacert has properly recorded all the information that we need in there. 
The final place that might be helpful to look at is the actual depreciation records, where we can see our new asset properly recorded on the depreciation records and showing what the current year depreciation is. With the Lacert Like-Kind Exchange Wizard, we've taken a very complicated transaction, entered the information into very simple input screens, and Lacert then transforms this information and puts it in the proper places on the IRS reports. Once again, this has saved us what used to take an hour or more to accumulate that information and put it in the right places on the forms into a matter of a few minutes with this wizard. Good luck with your tax season.